Welcome guys back to Lost Sheep Adventures. We are finally on the trails again. This time we're joined by a couple extras. We of course got Shannon behind. He, you know him, he's been in a few other episodes. As well as Ollie, he's joined us for one other episode. And he's now joining us again for another one. We're basing ourselves out of Twizel this weekend, roaming sort of the local region. We um, had plans, but they've been foiled by the foul weather, which is mostly just 140 kilometer an hour winds. Extremely discolored. Uh, so instead, we're roaming up the Twizel River, up the Tekapo River, and around some backcountry roads to Tekapo. So sit back, relax. It's going to be an awesome little episode. Pretty cruisy. First major river crossing. See about off in case it goes wrong. Shouldn't be going wrong. Basically, rivers are really easy if you've got a nice wide one. This one's a little deep. But you want to sort of ease into it and build a bow wave in front of you and then follow that bow wave through. She's a little sloft and sloppy actually. And I'm going a little hard, but I've got to fight a current. Feel the back end kicking around though. Not bad. Tekapai River's also got some mad hill climbs. So yeah, I reckon the one guy's going up, I'll have a hell we're, we're all thinking the same one, which is right smack dab in front of me. It's sort of, you know, it's got a bit of gradient to it. She's a little loose. And the classic open diff holes that are dug out on pretty much almost every hill climb ever. So, all in all, she's a little climb. Yeah, hell yeah. But, it's actually really not too bad. Unfortunately, probably going to scratch my paint. I'll wave it out down from the bottom there. But, should we give this a go? It's pretty damn loose. Trying to avoid those holes. Calm down a little bit now. Ooh, so. Nearing the top. Woo! Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Damn, look at that, eh? Oh, you can't see it because my cameras are down there, but that's gorgeous. Let's go see the other one. See how the other one does up this. Got no front locker like Jono does, unfortunately.
just coloured. So we may not be crossing that today. We're going to see how it is. And if it is uncrossable basically, the kind of thing is we have to sneak up the side. Like this crossing here like up this. here probably looks all right, but who knows what it's going to be like as we keep going, going up. That's the problem with it. As well as that, I know all right through this whole crossing is just really soft bouldery. Yeah. Um, and every time, even at low things, you're at high revs just trying to kick those boulders over. So I'm happy to just say no. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like you push across one, and then all of a sudden you're it's just time and time again. Yeah. And then and each time it's just a gamble almost. And like you can kind of read no it. visibility. Yeah. yeah. The water, you Through the knows water. If I was with two other trucks like mine. Might get a shot, yeah. Yeah. You know, like those buggies. But I mean, we're road legal. We're touring rigs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're not comp rigs that are designed to go in the water. Um, and, you know, I'm going to drive these home at the end of the day and then drive them for the next week and take them on the next trip. So, nah. Still I've five. been... 4,000k trip to Auckland. Yeah, very true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, unfortunately, we're going to call that, go around. I'm sure there'll be a bridge somewhere. I like this one. Narrow structure, check your alignment. We just did it in the driveway by eyeballing it before we left. So, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. So, I recall the last time we came from the other way, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember this river being quite full. Uh, last time I was here, it was like next to nothing, but this is the fullest I've seen it. Which makes it feel a whole lot more sketchy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the zip ties holding the thing together. That's yeah. brilliant. That's cool. Yeah, there's no way they're crossing that side. This feels sketch. Or I don't even want to. Not so I'm not the only one. It feels like real <laughs> weird walking over this. I'm looking at you, feeling like I'm. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I wonder how deep it is. I didn't want to stand in the yeah, middle. Yeah, be quite, yeah, I know, I went to avoid, yeah, you know, I'm good, eh? It's probably pretty, she's flowing fast, and it's probably pretty deep at the moment. Like, it's even, it's even a sketchy feeling coming across when it's just a normal flow of a river, nice and low, like two or three different braids here. Wow. Oh, kind of cool, actually. Yeah, we made it this far up the Tekapo River, now we've got to cross the Iron Bridge. And we're not feeling too comfortable about it. It's on the Iron Bridge. It's not so bad. She definitely, she's not so bad actually. Once you get up, walking, oh god, oh god, it's making noises. Uh, once, oh, <laughs> when you're walking across it, it's nerve wracking. And I thought this was fine, but now it's making noises. Oh, there's not a lot of room either side of me. Oh, Shannon's gonna feel very tiny on, or tight on that. Oh, let's get off this. Well, that's kind of cool though. 
Friday, eh? Time to go across this tiny little bridge with no rails and the river's in flood. Good times. Hey, can you get your wheels, matey? Too scared to look down. I'm not going to look down. I'm going to look down. Oh, that's sketchy. Oh dear. Oh, and it's clicking and making noises. Just a little bit further. Yes. Woohoo! for a while. She looks pretty interesting at the top. I can't remember which one we did back in the day, eh? Oh, was this one. I think it was this one we did. Which, looking at it now, what the was that problem? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably give it a little bit of a tickle, but yeah, she's a serious climb. So as I was saying, if you're aware of the Pukeki um, ranges, you'll understand that Shannon's about to do this right now. No, no preparation. It's like when I'm filming. Ooh, that might have been. That might have been a drive shaft, I think. <sighs> Hold on, we're getting there. Something's gone. Well, everything's still holding. So I've unlocked that. We take that hub out. It's down the bike to this side. Which side? This side. Driver. Might have just been a hub. Nothing looks major, major broken. Alright, four by two. Thank you. Interesting. You're in reverse? Keep it straight, keep it straight. Keep it straight. I don't think it's the front. No. Oh, no. Just creep it forward a little. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby. Oh, there's a baby. Oh, there's a baby. 
I think he jumped the tooth. Yeah. It might be a tooth in the diff. That really sucks. That, yeah, that's painful. Quite painful. It might be a tooth. Uh, is it two-wheel drive? Oh, no, not at the moment. Yeah, try and two. Yeah, okay. I have reason to believe he's got the tooth. Or done a tooth. We will, we will assess and then get back to you guys. Bye. Hey Shannon, out of all the trips we've been on, how many times have we been under your truck? <laughs> um, I think almost every single one I've been there. Well, you've got the biggest, baddest rig, and you still thrash the crap out of it, so... I, I don't blame you. <laughs> I thought I felt it strong enough that it wouldn't break, but... I guess it needed to build it Then you strong. started driving it stronger. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I hadn't buy a new one. <laughs> so, so I don't do that do that. Uh, At least it's a lovely sunny day here in Twizel Country. Hey, show the camera. You need to put a mean away. Oh, shit. That is... Is there a tooth in there? I think there's probably, shards, I think there's probably a, shard, a tooth, shard. but you know, it yeah. looks a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you've done a rear diff. Yeah. That's Officially. Convenient. Yeah, considering... Well, we're only an hour and a half from your home. It's going to be a long hour and a half. <laughs> well, we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That there is a very sharp piece of Shannon's um, ring gear or pinion? It could be pinion. Crud. Piece of metal that's supposed to be inside. But it's meant to be attached to something that's inside that diff. Um, and without this little piece sitting where it's supposed to sit, all it does is go bang, bang, bang. Which probably means there's more of them than just one. Um, so I reckon coming back down. It's a debacle. Oh hell yeah, that would have made it. Oh, I would have probably destroyed it, it so much down. But hell, what else are you going to do? Go forward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, had, like, yeah. Oh. I had to get it down. I shouldn't laugh, but I'm going to laugh because. Oh, I mean, what, what else can we do? Yeah, you might as well laugh because if you See, if you cry over it, then <laughs> it just makes yourself feel bad. So it's windy as all hell outside here, hence why I'm hiding in the truck. Basically, we've given it a Shannon's mechanic a call because I'm not 100 percent familiar with GQs. He recommends that we just put it in four wheel drive and send it. Uh, it'll probably strip all the teeth off the rear and then we can limp home in two wheel drive. Alternatively, oh here we go. We take the diff head out. Ah. Yeah, there's only a couple of big kinks. Might be a different. So we're passing Kukagi. I can actually see Mount Cook right now. That is stunning. We're doing 30k right now um, because we have, of course, have Shannon here in front of us as we make our way to Twizel at 30k an hour. He's sounding like a train. It's literally clack, 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 clack. Uh, as those those pinion and ring gear teeth are literally just eating themselves. That is the worst brake yeah. I've ever done. 
Yeah. That is just something. Got a few Gosh. people from looks from people on the <laughs> sidewalk too. They're like, what? Coming the right around the corner, <laughs> the lady in the blue car looked at me strange and then she was like, I don't know, just look on her face, she was like, oh no, this is not so good. <laughs> but hell, tow truck coming. Basically all sorted, hopefully in a day or two. But trip's coming to leave. Might as well leave it here. We can't really go anywhere else after <laughs> that. Yeah, that is good, ain't it? Right. Guess what I want? I need one of these.